This is a dangerous animal and we take many precautions. I've got a second zookeeper here with me to be as my backup, as my safety, in case anything goes wrong. She thinks that she has to now kill this animal. She doesn't know that that pig was dead. So grab it on the face or on the head, wrap around the chest and the upper body, and what you'll see, these tight constrictions. And she's squeezing tighter and tighter, and that is putting extreme pressure on the animal's chest and upper body. The last thing she wants is to grab an animal, start swallowing it, it can scratch her, it can bite her, or it can injure her in some way. It's not putting up any sort of a fight, so now she just repositions where her mouth is to get exactly around the snout, and that's when she's gonna start to consume it. They always wanna eat it head first, and that's so shoulders are the, normally the broadest part of an animal, going down. So now that she's grabbed a hold of that head, you can see the first part of her neck, that's only about six or seven inches in circumference. That is now gonna extend to over 50 inches to get around the chest of that pig. What you'll actually notice here, you might see a little bit of pink tissue sticking out of the bottom of her jaw. That's actually her windpipe. So she will throw her windpipe external of her throat so she continue to breathe while that, that pig is going down. And you'll see every now and then, she's just taking a bit of a breath, bit of a breath. A big python like this can open the top and bottom jaw 180 degrees. Pretty much she could bite this glass pane flat. The bottom jaw, they do have rigid bone, but it's just connected by the skin. Two bones on either side, that opens up and they just walk the food down into their belly. The only part of that pig that won't get digested are the, the, the nail or the hooves and the hair. I'll just find clumps of that uh, in her excrement over the next couple of weeks.